exceptional jumps. In the previous tutorial, we talked about jump magnification. So jump magnification is the ratio of the jump height to the push height. So uh, if this character jumps uh, four times higher than the distance that they pushed off the ground, uh, then that would be a jump magnification of four. Now, this jump magnification is important in deciding the timing of the push. Uh, and in fact, the push time is the time in the air, the jump time, divided by jump magnification. So since we're dividing by the jump magnification, if we have a big jump magnification, that means that there's a short uh, push time. So the character uh, pushes off in a very short time. That's necessary if uh, the jump magnification is very big. So uh, this is an issue in uh, superhero jumps, so jumps that are extremely high. Uh, for example, here we have a character jumping uh, up to the top of a three-story building, so their jump height is 36 feet. Uh, that happens to take about 36 frames. Now, uh, this uh, character, if they're pushing off uh, over a distance of one foot, then that's a jump magnification of 36, and that means that they push off on the ground for only one frame. So uh, this very short uh, push it would almost be uh, well difficult to see uh, on screen uh, because it happens uh, so quickly. Uh, let's uh, look at the timing of um, a few jumps done by the Hulk in um, this film. So we see him running and getting ready to uh, jump. And here he goes. Extremely high, far jump. And we're going to see another uh, very large jump here in a moment. So it's uh, going and going. Now, uh, these jumps don't look realistic. Uh, the time in the air is uh, fine. The problem is that the uh, time that the Hulk is pushing off on the ground simply isn't consistent with the enormous jump magnification that uh, he's getting. So uh, if you work it out, these uh, shallow uh, forward jump that he does in the first part of that sequence uh, he would jump an impressive four to five stories, but certainly not the uh, enormous distance that uh, he jumps on screen. Now, in this film, uh, the animators were well aware of uh, this fact, but this was a phys dev decision that was made in the film that this was simply going to be the way physics was going to work uh, for the Hulk. Now, one uh, old trick uh, to disguise the timing for a superhero jump is to use slow motion. So this is something which was uh, commonly done for the uh, sequences of the Six Million Dollar Man. So Six Million Dollar Man has bionic legs. Um, here's another uh, bionic uh, character. So they have these very uh, impressive uh, jumps but we don't uh, see really what the uh, timing is because they use a slow motion to imply that everything is uh, happening uh, extremely fast and so that uh, disguises the timing. Now, uh, if you're not a superhero, you can still do an impressive jump if you somehow enhance the uh, forces uh, in the jump. So, for example, in a trampoline or a gymnast uh, using a springboard, they can uh, have larger jump magnification than they uh, normally would have. Uh, the extreme example is the uh, human cannonball. So this is a circus act where a performer is um, in a tube and the uh, 
they are pushed upward using either um, the original designs had stretched elastic bands, some uh, other designs use compressed springs or air pressure, and uh, this propels the uh, performer up the tube and it's similar to a, a, just a large, very large enhanced uh, jump. Uh, so here we see the path of action for a uh, performer doing one of these uh, human cannonball acts. Uh, you can see that uh, we have fourth down at halftime and uh, as I said the parabolic arc for the path of action. Uh, here's a quick video showing a uh, performer doing that, uh, that act. Now the uh, range of the cannon uh, depends on the uh, length of the cannon. This basically uh, takes the role of the push height uh, and the acceleration that the performer is subjected to as they are pushed um, up the cannon. Now um, the uh, range is roughly equal to the, that acceleration measured in G's. G is the uh, acceleration of gravity. Uh, times the length of the cannon. So the uh, world record for human cannonball is roughly 200 feet and that's what you get uh, for a 30-foot cannon if the uh, performer is accelerated at about 7 G's. Now that's um, uh, roughly the uh, limit uh, because uh, the human body has limits as to what it can withstand in terms of a g-force. So uh, being accelerated upward, uh, the average person would black out, uh, accelerated at about 5 g's. Uh, professional um, trained can be uh, up to about 7 g's and uh, fighter pilots in special suits can get up to around 9 g's. Uh, the limit is even more restricted if the acceleration is downward. Uh, in that case, the um, due to the blood rushing uh, to the head, we have a red out instead of a blackout, and uh, this can be quite dangerous. You can have um, capillaries bursting in the in the head. Um, the safest uh, acceleration or deceleration is um, through the back, so perpendicular uh, to the body. Uh, the human body can withstand about uh, 20 g's or more um, in that case. And uh, that's why uh, performers in the uh, circus, when they land in the net, for example, the human cannonball, uh, they always try to uh, rotate their body so that they land uh, on their back. Now, getting back to uh, jumps, uh, it turns out the jump magnification equals the number of g's of acceleration uh, during the push. So uh, if you were strong enough to accelerate your body to have a, a jump which had a jump magnification of five, uh, this would still be a challenge because uh, you would have an acceleration during the push of uh, five G's. So you might actually uh, black out from um, doing this, this type of jump. Uh, you're probably familiar if you stand up too fast, uh, you can uh, black out, uh, same thing. Uh, would be happening here. So in uh, summary, uh, superhero jumps are characterized by an enormous jump magnification. The push time is very short for a realistic jump uh, to have a, an enormous uh, jump magnification. Uh, using slow motion is an old trick for disguising the timing of an enormous jump. Uh, it's not used as much anymore because it became uh, somewhat stylized, um, so, but it's still uh, useful from time to time. Uh, jumps may be enhanced by launching a character such as the human cannonball as the extreme example. Uh, but there are limits because humans have a limited tolerance uh, for extreme accelerations, sometimes called uh, g-forces.